Okay, so we've got our antique brass magnolia tank pen all ready for assembly here. Um, we've got different assembly setups. So you've got the lower assembly, which is here, and the upper assembly, which is the clip and cap here, um, that are assembled separately and then pressed into the blank. So um, we go ahead and get started here. We first start off by placing the clip onto the cap nut. So we take our clip and our cap nut and we slide that into there, just like so. So just like that. And then we thread on our cap, just like this. So that's all held in place, just like that. Want to get that indexed like so that way you have the stars on the sides and that to the back because that would be like the exhaust okay so now we're going to stick that into the upper end of our barrel and here's where we decide how we want this to look the only feature we've got is that one right there so I think we're going to have that centered but just a little off center to the right, so the right-handed person will be facing them. We're gonna have that to the bottom. There we go. And press that in there, take out our medium, or our small section spacer. We're gonna take that slow. such a big piece I want to make sure that it stays in place it doesn't cant or tilt on me or slide out of place alright we got a good fit there Nice and flush. Now our bottom assembly, we thread the mechanism into the upper end of the front end assembly. So we thread our mechanism into here. Insert the refill. go very precise fit into that tube place our spring onto our shaft now there's a little section here that's just slightly smaller than the other end so this end here is slightly smaller so we put that onto our refill focus like so and you see it how it pushes on there and now it's it, it kind of sticks on that in place like that. And then we thread it on like so. And then we check our mechanism, make sure that it's working, and it certainly is. So we turn the mechanism, it pushes the ink in and out. Just like this. See that working there? And then we just simply line these up and just press that in. Actually, let's push our ink out. That way it is in place for when we... There we go. So now we have that pressed in place. Now there is just a small gap between the front of the barrel and our um, muzzle brake, which is essentially what that is. Just a giant tank muzzle brake. Just a small gap there because the mechanism has a little bit of spring to it. So there's not much we can do about that, unfortunately. 
but it does work it does look nice nice hefty big pen it's got some weight to it but uh, you know it doesn't feel too bad that that little indent dip right there between the two parts actually fits in the hand quite nicely that's you know the top there it's got a little weight to it but uh, you know it actually feels pretty good I figured that this would be a really big heavy bulky pen and while it is a big bulky pen it's not necessarily heavy and with that weight in the back it actually it's not too bad you're not going to be you know sitting around and uh, twirling it in your fingers anytime soon real easily but uh, you know it's not too bad I really like the tank features of it you know being a World War II history buff it's it's a pretty neat uh, it's a pretty neat pen I had the customer be pretty happy with that. That Magnolia Blank turned out really nice. Really took a nice polish to it. I thought they'll be pretty happy with that. Get you a close up of all the features here. And from the other side. Yeah, so it turned out pretty good. And that's how that beautiful tank pen is put together. It went together smoothly, real nice, got a nice feature to it, turned out really well. I've already shipped it off to the customer and he is ecstatic about it. He loves it, it looks real good. He actually ordered another one. He also ordered those revolver uh, pen kits that you've already seen me do one of those already. Uh, you know, he's, he's a great guy. We've got some other stuff on order that we're going to be doing for him, and I look forward to showing you guys that. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that button right here in the center. Go ahead and smack that button, and you guys can subscribe to my channel and look at what we've got coming up in the future. If you want to see some of my other videos, go ahead and check them out here. If you want to see part one of this video where I prep it and then see it all the way from the beginning through the turning and then onto the assembly, go ahead and check that video out right here. Thank you so much for joining me out in the shop. This is Tactical Painter, Suits Crafting Woodshop, signing out.